Hi again. Um, this is day three of math for the week of 420. Um, yesterday we drew the numbers 11 and 12 in four different ways. And today we're going to do the same thing with numbers 13 and 14. I hope that yesterday when you practiced your numbers 11 and 12, you should have drawn the number 11 in two more ways and drawn the number 12 in two more ways on a piece of paper. Um, done the homework sheet if you can access that and count out objects, 11 objects and 12 objects that are in your house. If you haven't done that yet, before you watch this video, you should go back and do those things. All right? Let's talk about the number 13. The number 13 is a 1 and a 3. And this is how you spell it. Okay? 13. I already set up my 10 frame here. So my first 10 frame is already full. If I know that that 10 frame is full, how many dots are in the 10 frame? Yeah, if it's full, there are 10 dots. So to get 13 dots, I just need to count on from 10. So I have 10. So I go 10, 11, 12, 13. And that's my 13 dots. Okay. Now I'm going to do my linking cube training. And you're going to count with me. I hope 13 will fit on this space. We'll see. We might have to problem solve. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It almost didn't fit, but we got it. Okay. For my dice picture, I drew three dice today because I know that one dice can have six, and six plus six is 12. 12 is not enough. I need 13, so I need to have three dice. Here's how I'm gonna make 13 with my dice. I'm going to make this one have five. I'm gonna make two of them have five. If two of the dice have five, how many are there total so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I have ten, I'm going to need three more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that's one way I can make the number thirteen with the dice. I made the number thirteen with a word. 10 frames, a linking cube train, and with a dice combination. Now what number do I have written? That's right, we're on to 14. I'm gonna do my 14 in the same four ways. Okay, here we go. This is how I spell 14. I already have 10 dots in my first 10 frame. I know that those are 10 already, so I'm gonna start counting at 10. And I'm gonna say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that's 14 dots. Now I'm going to make my linking cube train. It's going to be even longer. Count to 14 with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I don't need that extra. Fourteen Lincoln Cube squares. Okay. I'm going to make my dice again. And we'll zoom in a little bit. There's my 10 frames, 14, 14 cubes. For my dice, I'm going to start with six. Okay. What if I start with six and then I make the next one have five? How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I have eleven so far. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I need three more dots. Okay. So that equals fourteen dots on my three dice. Okay, so your work is the same as yesterday. Um, there is a homework sheet if you're able to access that on in the homework folder on Schoology. If you're not able to print that out, um, you can get a piece of paper and draw two more ways to make 13, draw two more ways to make 14, and then find objects in your house that you can count out the numbers 13 and 14. Okay? Um, I will see you next time, and we'll be doing a couple more numbers. Have fun!